I ask for the truth on behalf of Mary J.C. Charon uh, concerning relationship issues. Her and her man are on a temporary break at the moment for each other. Will they get back together again? Uh, we ask for guidance and insight in the name of truth. Right conduct, peace, love and non-violence. Blessed be to the truth, always. And we just cut the deck uh, for you there, Mary. And I'll just place uh, uh, things to the side here. And then we're going to deal out three cards for you. The first card we deal is in the position of your recent past. This is a period of time between now and this time last month or thereabouts, but where the moon was, the last uh, last quarter moon, where the moon was this time last month, where it is now, where it was then. Often referred to as a moonth, that sort of cycle, isn't it? The next uh, card we place down is in the position of your present. So your present situation, you could say like three days behind, three days ahead through that sort of period, couldn't you? Not bang on now, because now is over, and it's now then, and it's now again. But that sort of thing. Let's see then what the immediate future holds there, for your immediate future there, as we just place it there, between now and this time next month. A bit like a month behind, but it's a month ahead, where the moon will be well, it is now in the same place next month. So you could say that sort of time period. That's the sort of thing I work with. It's not an exact science. It may not be exactly where the moon is or tra la 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 But it is roughly that sort of thing, isn't it? Let's then see um, what's been going on in this relationship. The split has taken place temporary on a temporary break until he comes back, until we get back together again. But for now, let's just see what may have caused all this. Maybe what was going on. We'll just flip this card here and we'll just realise, notice there, you've got the energy of love. So really true love and fidelity was there. Uh, people were true in this relationship. Somebody in this relationship was being true and, and, and being honest. Um, was this both of you or was this... Was this just one of you and the other one wasn't? Um, but certainly there's been uh, love and fidelity in the sense it has been true love. Don't tell me wrong, it has been true love. I'm not going to argue with that. Can't argue with the energy of the cards that are here now. Uh, that, that, would be, uh, that would be silly. But, well, before we just uh, go on about what's going on uh, now, of course... Bearing in mind there, you've got Cupid there, of course, and then, and then we've got the heart. So, yes, a golden heart maybe, but of course in the background there is still darkness, surrounded by darkness behind, even though we may not look toward it, maybe the darkness is in front, but behind there is darkness, always there, reminding us that maybe, just maybe, that there is a dark side to this relationship, uh, but as there is with all relationships, I would assume um, that's how you know what the light is because you know what the dark is. And, and, and it's acknowledging that darkness so you can work with it. But nevertheless, somebody's been faithful. Why am I sort of sensing here as though maybe somebody's been faithful more out of appeasement than anything else, just to keep somebody happy, maybe for the fear of losing somebody and not having somebody to talk about when they're with their friends. Um, oh, you're single again, are oh, you? got nobody again. I would dread that sort of conversation. So maybe it's more of an appeasement thing. But either way, there has been, people have been true, um, uh, just recently people have been true, or somebody in this relationship, if one or both, have been true to, to each other. 
So it doesn't as there's really any excuse. You say temporary break, of course. That could be the energy that implies that it's temporary. Uh, but why would it be temporary? Let's just see. Well, maybe the only reason it's a break right now is because at the moment the energy of the minstrel is uh, indicating there. Notice he plays his instrument and sings his song. He's a song singer, isn't he? And he, and he plays that song that I love you, I love you, I love you. Tra -la 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 -la. And it's a song, he doesn't mean it at all. But really, you should be, as it says here, you should let your intentions be known. You should, have, you should let him know what you want from this relationship. Being faithful to him, and maybe even having him being faithful to you, to you even being faithful to each other is one thing, but it's broken down because you didn't say what you wanted from the relationship. And if you had done, maybe he could say, well, I didn't realise that that was the case. If, you, if you'd have said so, maybe we could have split earlier. Or then again, maybe if you'd have said so, he could probably say, well, if you'd have said so, I'd have stuck around. I just didn't know because you didn't say out of fear. The reason you the reason you don't say what you want is out of fear of being rejected. That it may be not what he wants. But how the hell are you going to know if it is what he wants if you do not open your mouth? Yes, you can have my problem where you open your mouth too much and get yourself in trouble. But if he gets you in trouble, what have you got to lose anyway? Because you've lost now, haven't you? Considering everything was there, everybody was faithful. But I am sort of sensing here that this is more your faithfulness and your true love and your fidelity toward him more than his toward you. It's as if you've pushed, you are pushing him away right now. You're pushing him away right now because you're not saying it as it is. You're not spitting it out. You're not saying what you want from this. And, 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 and it's that that's pushed him away. You've pushed him away. Uh, so yes, maybe you were both faithful to one another, but he's got the hump, or not the hump, he's got cold cold feet and, and done a runner because you've pushed him away. You've not so much pushed him away, well, but blah, 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 and you've not so much pushed him away, away by what you've said. You've pushed him away by what you haven't said. And you don't listen to what people tell you. Do not listen to what people tell you, listen to what people don't tell you. And, and that is most important because for the immediate future, your immediate future in the next three or four weeks or so, the next month between now and the next last quarter moon when you can probably try and banish all this. A barrier keeps you from your goal, the energy of the gate there. Notice will slam in your face and something will stop you from getting this, uh, this, uh, make it, this, this temporary. It's going to be a bit more, a bit, a bit more, a bit more of a break than temporary break than you think. Uh, something, a barrier, is going to keep you from your goal, from getting back with him. What's that barrier? What is it, or who is it? You know who it is, don't you? You know who it is. It may be who it was before, uh, before he was lured away by what you didn't say to him, by what you didn't tell him, by that what you want was not expressed. And so he knows what she wants, though, doesn't he? He can go back to her. It's best the devil he knows than the devil he doesn't know. And that is the key, isn't it? But for now, we cast a shadow over this. But your darkness must fall upon it, I'm sure. But for now, just for now, until maybe next time <laughs> i'm sure that won't be temporary well it may marry it it won't be temporary mary but for now mary these cards for you have spoken